So uh, for now, we want to measure the current flowing through R1. So what we do is we place our ammeter in line with R1. So what we are going to do is this, now guys. Since uh, there's no ammeter on the negative rail, um, uh, we'll make sure we connect all the negative rail. Then we'll go backwards to, to connect our ammeter. So it says here, for the negative rail, for the negative rail, it says from the negative of the supply, it goes to negative of R1, right? Then from the negative of R1, it goes to negative, negative of R2. And from the negative of R2, it goes to negative, negative of R3. R3. So we are done connecting our negative rails. Now, starting from backwards, it says here, from the positive, from the positive, from the positive of R3, from the positive of R3, it goes to positive of R2, right? Mm -hmm. From the positive of R2, it's supposed to go to the positive of the meter. So it goes to positive of the meter, right? Yes. Okay. Goes to positive of the meter. Now, from the positive, from the positive of, that, that was positive of R2, ne? goes to positive. Now, from the positive of the meter goes to positive of of, of of the supply but then we will now notice that we still have this connection to take care of that's the negative of the ammeter so from the negative from the negative from the negative of the ammeter it actually goes to negative of r1 or from the negative of r1 it goes to negative of the ammeter so what i'm going to do there i'm just going to switch the meters quickly and um, I switch this on, then here gives it gives us um, 1 point, 1 1.01 ampere. So this is how we connect um, uh, the ammeter to, to measure I R1 resistor um, current. That's the, the, the current flowing through resistor one. We we measuring 1.01 .01 here. Okay.